So I decided to splurge and buy my very first Daniel Smith watercolor set. People tell me they're the best and Amazon is having an awesome, awesome sale on them. So I bought this essential set. Yeah, I've got to be honest here. I feel a little bit cheated because these are tiny. <laughs> 30 plus dollars for six tubes of paint on sale. But you know what? The show must go on. So today I will put them to the test to see if they're really that much of a game changer or, you know, if it's all just marketing. Now the question here is, as a watercolor artist, a beginner like me, are expensive watercolors just a waste of money? Also, what exactly are we supposed to paint with just six colors? <laughs> In this video, I will show you all you can do with them to squeeze more than enough value for every penny you spend. See what I did there? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so this is the set, cute teeny tiny tubes of Daniel Smith watercolor paint. So tiny, my cats could swallow them whole. They kind of look like a fish, don't they? <laughs> But this is actually quite clever because you have the three primary colors in their cool and in their warm version. Okay, so here are our six colors. The warm ones are New Gamboge, Pyro Scarlet and French Ultramarine. And the cool ones are Hansa Yellow Light, Quinacridone Rose and Phthalo Blue with a green shade. That's what the GS stands for. Now I'm using a plate here because I don't have any palettes on hand and guess what? It is the exact same thing. You do not need a fancy palette for your watercolors, particularly if you're just starting out. You know, a plate, a ceramic tile, a lid, anything like that will work great. And when I use pen sets, I get the palette in the box. For the tubes, you need an extra place to mix colors, you know. I do not advise using paint straight from the tube. It's much creamier than a pan and you'll just waste paint unnecessarily and forget about transparency. <laughs> you need to add water to be able to use it without stressing. Okay, so I'm trying to be real careful here with the amount of paint I am dropping on my plate because it is very, very easy to waste paint with tubes if you're not careful. I have a mantra that goes something like, the amount of tube paint you think you need, cut it in half or even less, and that's the real amount you need. <laughs> because if you're not careful before you know it, you've used half a tube and you're still trying to get those colors mixed properly. So use this sparingly, guys. Okay, guys, now let's do some swatching first. And I have my black line all set up here to see just how transparent these are. And just by painting a little bit, I can tell you right now, they are 100% transparent no opaqueness at all and that means no fillers no nasty stuff just pure pigment i mean if these look like this when they're wet imagine what they look like when they're dried i can also tell that the blues may be a little bit staining uh yeah i don't think not even <laughs> not even a magic sponge can remove this blue from this paper let me tell you there is no way yeah they are pretty stainy you can tell it right now but other than that yeah really smooth lines no you know no rough edges oh i am liking this so far this is gorgeous these are gorgeous gorgeous paints so yeah the swatches are done it was pretty easy it is only six tubes but now i think we should try a color wheel for the very first time i think that would be a really cool thing to do and maybe then we'll be able to see just how green this phthalo blue is and just how purple this french ultramarine is Okay, so the way to do a color wheel, you just get something round to act as a template or get a compass, you know, make a wheel and then divide it into 12 evenly-ish <laughs> sections, you know, pieces of pie, really. And I am making a warm one and a cool one, okay, just to see what we get. And I can tell you right now that I think I will be surprised because for me, the warm color wheel would be much more vibrant than the cool. But just from watching the swatches, I can tell you right now that's probably not the case. So, okay, we're starting to mix colors here, kind of nervous. So what we need to do in order not to waste too much paint is to get our paints on the sides and then make a little pull in front of them and then just mix the colors from that pool. Nothing complicated or fussy about it, okay? Famous last word. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, I'm loving these. This is so much fun to do. You, if you've never done a color wheel, please do try it. And if you're doing one, use these colors because, ah, oh, 
these are so cute and no muddiness inside yet so yeah these might do the trick guys this may just be the most awesome setup I've ever bought <laughs> Now, as I'm looking at these wheels here, uh, it's making me wonder how many colors can we make out of these six tiny tubes? Any guesses? I guess the right question here actually would be how many colors can we get from three primary colors? And the answer would be all of them. All the colors you see, you know, all those grand watercolor sets come from the three primaries. These are the only ones you cannot get from mixing. So three should be all we need. But today we have six, so the potential for interesting colors is even greater. But unfortunately, so is the potential for muddy colors when you're mixing cools with warms. So I guess I'm taking big risks today here, guys because we are making a color chart. But you know what? If any paints can actually take being mixed, you know, the warms with the cools, that's definitely Daniel Smith from what I can see so far. I am not doing glazing, okay? Glazing would be to add one paint first and then go back while the paint is wet and add another, and then, you know, you'd have one color over the other and you'd see the result. That's not what I'm doing here, guys. I am mixing colors on my plate before adding them to the color chart, okay? And making a color chart, is really easy. You need a square that's divided seven by seven and if you do like on a, a simple watercolor sheet, a big one, you can just do one inch squares. And just in case luck and skills aren't enough, I have gone ahead and added masking fluid to this grid because I do not want any color mixing to take place on the paper and I'm not a patient person. So if I am going to paint two colors together that haven't dried yet, they will bleed and it will be a hot mess. I do not want that. I want this to be pristine. I want this to be beautiful. I want us to be able to see all the tiny little differences in the colors mixed in together. And I know, I know as a beginner watercolor artist, we run away from color mixing. I know that. I mean, there's just so much to know and learn already. Why not use the big sets? I mean, I have a 54 set of Schmincke Horadam watercolors, so I know how this works, okay? This is my first primary set right here. My smallest set after this one is 24 pans. <laughs> but how satisfying is it to be able to create your own colors? To know you've created that awesome purple or that bright green, but I do have to say I am particularly blown away by this little set. The way it was thought out, you know, the potential of this color selection and how far we can go with them. And let me tell you, you have a lot of paint here, a lot of paint if used properly. You can do so much with just these tiny six tubes. Honestly, that's the part I'm most impressed about. <laughs> so if you're considering investing in watercolors and are deciding which option is best bang for your buck, this is by far. Great price for your professional watercolors, particularly now that it's on sale on Amazon, and I will link that in the description for you, okay? And all you need to paint, whatever you'd like. I mean, just the fact that I mixed these cool colors with the worms and got pretty excellent clear colors proves just how good these paints are. Highly pigmented, easy to use, providing you use the tips I shared along the way, of course. There really is a reason why people love them. I get it, I get it now. And there you have it, guys. We are all done. Thank you for doing this with me, and I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.